Top Dog, Big Banana, Big Kahuna. This is it right here, 1970 Chevelle. The LS6 made 450 horsepower. Back in the day in the big muscle car craze, that was the highest uh, horsepower of any production car. So this is the king of the hill right here. This is a body off frame restored. It has about 160 miles on it. It has all the LS6 components and parts. It's not numbered match. It's not documented. What you're buying is a 70 Chevelle convertible with LS6, four-speed posi, gauges, cowl induction, all sorts of good stuff. You might have noticed the color, misty turquoise, very rare color as well. Go to volocars.com. That's where you'll find price tags on this one and about 200 other collector cars that are all for sale, and each one will have a monthly finance payment as well. But for right now, it tops down. Let's go for a spin. All right. So the hood looks real nice. <clears throat> the cowl induction hoods come with hood pins. Straight, fits nice, lines up real good. Fender looks real good. Looking down the side of the car, it's straight. It all lines up real good, clean all the way to the bottom. Now, it's only got less than 200 miles on it, all nice and clean. But this was done about 10 years ago. Just wasn't used. So we've serviced the car, detailed it up real nice, all nice, clean, no rust, no damage. So the fact it's been painted uh, for a few years tells us that it's holding up really well. <clears throat> when it's fresh, you don't know what it's going to do. All this is looking real nice, straight, clean. Quarter panels, real nice, all the way to the bottom. The wheel well molding fits the body real nice. Rocker, nice and clean. All looking really good. Body looks very nice on the car. Misty turquoise, I can't recall if I've ever seen one. Uh, it is laid out evenly. All the metal flake is all one color. Smooth, glossy finish. White stripes painted on. Barely feel them. Cowl induction is hooked up. So the windshield looks like it was replaced along with all the stainless trim. Uh, up front here, the bumper and bezels, the grill, the lenses, all that's in excellent shape. Looks like it was all replaced when they restored it. You did say these are original date-coded SS wheels. They've been repainted. The center caps are a little pitted. Uh, probably replace those. That's not a big deal. And it's sitting on reproduction, wide oval Firestone tires. The seals are replaced, weather strips. All the rubber on the convertible top was replaced. The white convertible top's in excellent shape. There's pictures of that on our website. Uh, yeah, I'd replace the center caps. Uh, you can buy those. They bolt on from the back side. But the trim, trim rings are in real nice shape. And again, they're original day-coated wheels. Back bumper is all re -chrome. The lenses, the rubber pad, all in really nice shape. So it's a good-looking car. Let's open it up, show you the interior, and show you that legendary motor. All right. Under the trunk lid, painted real nice. Stickers were replaced. Got a little bit of a drip right there, but the jams are painted real nice. The weather strip is replaced. Uh, inside the trunk compartment, all clean, solid metal. It's been spatter painted. Got a good mat, got a spare, got a jack. What more do you need? Well liners replaced. There were claims of $135,000 on the body off restoration. Um, this is a very nice restoration. It's a very good car. It's not, you know, the uh, concourse uh, restored perfect car, but it, it's a really nice example. Door jams were all repainted. The latches look like they're replaced. Weather strips are replaced. Uh, according to the tag, it was born these colors with the white interior. It's like a pearl white. Uh, the armrest pads, door panels were replaced. All this has probably been replaced. The dash pad, the instrument panel, does have the correct 6500 redline tachometer. That's correct for a LS6.
could rev them higher, their silo lifter engines. 162 miles since it's been done. Clock is working. Uh, all stock, AM radio, power top. Clean across the dash. The vents look nice. You know, the kick panels all look good. Carpet's nice. Very nice. Looks like original seat belts. Has a nice center console. And this is the correct Muncie four speed. Not the Hearst shifter that everyone put in, but the Muncie. And they have three aftermarket gauges here. Even though the other ones are new, some people feel these are just more accurate than the older technology. So seats look like they've had some new cushion put in them. New white, uh, pearl white upholstery. The headrests have been reupholstered. Overall, very nice. That's what I mean. It's not concourse. You know, it's not brought to that 10 condition, but very nice. Original seat belts, but the upholstery is all replaced. Convertible top frame is painted black. Light color interior makes a difference in the summer. It stays much cooler. So it is a new SS steering wheel, and it looks like it's on a tilt column, too. And the mirror is real nice. Visors were replaced. Subscribe to our YouTube channel. Click the bell icon. You'll be notified as new videos are posted. So I've checked all the codes and numbers on here. It's stamped up front CE, that's counter exchange, and that is the original stamp, has the brooch marks. Uh, on the back, it is date coded, late 1969. It is the 512 casting, so that block is for the LS6, it's for the 427 you know, like Yanko Camaros, that's the block everyone wants. It has the big port heads, Designated by this hump right here that tells me it's the big rectangular port heads for LS6. This is the correct low-rise aluminum intake. I've checked that number. That's 70 LS6. It has a dual-feed Holly carb. I did not check numbers, but that's what they uh, ran on these back then. Sitting on top is the cowl induction. It has the vacuum and the, you know, the electric door to open and close everything. So the valve covers, got a little surface corrosion on them, uh, stock exhaust manifolds, all the interior metals painted smooth, spring clamp battery cables. It's got new horns, shrouds replaced. Now, I told you they're high revving solid lifter engines, so they have deep groove pulleys. That's when it's revving real high, a belt doesn't just fly off. All the pulleys, except for the alternator, which looks new, are deep groove pulleys. Uh, it's got power steering and power brakes. So uh, overall, clean engine apartment, but again, actual LS6 engine sitting there, not uh, 454 out of a 77 motorhome or anything like that. So Michael has the fun job of Showing you what she's got. is down time to go for a cruise today is the 1970 chevelle ss convertible the ls6 454 under the hood m22 four speed manual this is the rock crusher guys awesome car all the way around some of you may remember this car we had to redo the video because the dash was squeaking pretty bad so our shop took care of that and yeah, we're here to show you that it's fixed. Awesome car, power steering, power brakes. And of course, you just can't beat the convertible top. 
Absolutely beautiful color, misty turquoise. Looks great out in the sun. And let's see what she's got. Okay. <laughs> Up to speed, no problem. Maybe just a wee bit over there. Uh, I tell you, man, this, this car gets down. I'm digging it. Cowl induction hood is working the right way. Everything about it shifts nice, runs nice. Suspension feels good. Everything about it. Easy to steer. Seats are comfortable. Great car overall. If you want to come test drive it for yourself, you're more than welcome to come do so. We're about an hour drive outside of Chicago. About a 30 minute drive outside of O'Hare International Airport if you feel you need to fly in. You can also have a third party inspector come out if you feel you need another opinion. Or you can click the buy now and we can ship it anywhere in the world for you. As I see it, it's a good car. You're going to have a lot of fun in it. Check out more pictures and details on volocars.com. So this was a body off frame restoration. You can tell everything was apart. Um, all the suspension and steering was replaced or rebuilt. It's all was painted at the time. Um, it does have the F41 suspension. So that's front and rear sway bars, boxed rear control arms. It even has reproduction spiral shocks that they would have originally put on the Chevelle in 1970. Uh, it has a great sounding exhaust system with the cowbell tips coming out the back. Disc brakes in front, drum and back, that whole system was redone. Uh, floors are smooth, clean floors. They look really nice. Fuel system was replaced. So it's all looking really good underneath the car. You look up at the motor, it's clean. Oh, I didn't even mention the four speed. It's an M22. That's the rock crusher, an M20, M21, and then the M22 is the heavy duty four speed. That's what's in this car. Uh, in back, it has a 12 volt with 373 Posi gears in it. So there you have it. Top Dog 70 Chevelle LS6 four speed. Go to volocars.com. Salesmen can help answer your questions, including how to get this delivered to your door and how to get it financed. Thanks for watching.